So we do a quick run around of the exhaust system that we built for the van here. Uh, simple, just kicked out the side in front of the rear tires. I'm a child of the 80s and the early 90s, and that's how we liked our exhaust systems. So on this side, that's the factory Y pipe came down. I cut it off where the other side came over and joined in. Let me get the light working on my side. Cut it off and joined it in there and uh, just slapped an aftermarket converter on it because I need one for my 96. And then another straight piece of pipe into that muffler. That muffler is from a 1977 um, Dodge Winnebago. It's big and I figure the factory pushed 440 cubic inches through it. I can push half of a 350 through it. And then we kick it out the side. And over there is another one of those mufflers. Uh, run around over there. I didn't think I'd be able to see as well. Oh, that side was also salvaged the Y pipe by cutting it up. Uh, I had to cut it a lot closer to the manifold on that side because of where the bend was. So there, pretty much right off of the manifold is where I cut it. And then grabbed a piece of pipe out of the the oops bend pile and got it in there and there we go through one of the one of those aftermarket converters one of the straight little piece of pipe and bent out the side and i cheat i cheaped out so far i only got one hanger on each side uh i'm gonna put another, i'm gonna add more hangers to it um i'm trying to remember but i'm down here where did i put the oxygen sensor Huh, not seeing it. Uh, oh well, it's got to be in there somewhere because the computer's not complaining. So it must have the oxygen sensor further upstream. But that's where, uh, nope, I'm sorry, I found it. The oxygen sensor goes into that front converter. There it goes, right there. So the oxygen sensor goes in the front converter. And since the intake manifold is uh, split, so one pipe on the intake feeds two, pipe, two cylinders on the left side and two cylinders on the right side of the motor, that oxygen sensor is producing the signal that the computer needs to uh, properly tune the engine. Uh, that's what I have, and maybe you want to try to build one like it, or can show your shop that it's a pretty simple system. I don't know how much it would cost, but that's what I put together.